Um, can you do that again? Yes. I'll do mine first. All yeah. right. If we should, hey, here's a good thing. Like, you start it. What a rush You on? come in. Let's do a harm. No, just harmonize, harmonize into one and then and we'll all end with what a rush. Juice. What, what's up, Ed? How you doing? I'm doing. I'm can doing. You, can you officially give us an intro? I'm gonna give it to you, real good, real hard, real, real wet, <laughs> and real wet. Welcome everybody to Juice Pro Wrestling episode 15. What's this episode called? It is called Cruising for a Bruising. That's right, Cruising for a Bruising, coming at you live from the Green Door Network. Well, live right here, right now. With Levish. <laughs> with Juice the Anvil Nightheart. Big Threat and the Savage and Big Ed the Assassin, my two uh, Titanic uh, Serbian tag Sen- team. Sensations. The, sincer- <laughs> the, the sincere Serbian <laughs> sensations. Two of the greatest guys in the world uh, in here, as always, with JP Dub. Uh, episode 15. Here we are. We're a quarter of the way through. How was your fourth? My fourth. It was pretty good. How was your fourth? It was hot. It was really hot. It was hot. I literally, it was so hot. Hot temperature or sexy hot? Uh, it wasn't it's Shawn Michaels' sexy always, boy He hot. said both. <laughs> it's always both. Yeah. It was hot temperature-wise where the next person that came up to me, I wanted to kick in the gut and throw him through the uh, throw him through a table. My God, a table! My God, my God Austin! Um, other than that, it was pretty good, but it was just hot. Yeah, super duper hot. Lots of alcohol that just didn't do anything until it didn't get hot. <laughs> Which just, it never did. So just sat and marinated. Yeah, but good time nonetheless. Getting rained out on the fireworks, you know. Enjoyed it. Hell of a fireworks show a few days later, though. Hell yeah! I had a fireworks show over there uh, this past weekend. Rocked a couple of gigs with Handsome Prick. I thought you were gonna say you had a fireworks show in your pants this weekend. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> that's, what, that's what I thought he was gonna say. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a gentleman. These guys have dark ideas. Yeah, I played. A couple yeah, where shows. Handsome Prick play? Uh, Franklin House in Valparaiso, and uh, shout out to Allison and Chuck from Fluid Coffee. Fluid. Bar. Two of the best people yeah, ever. Yeah, for showing up. And, uh, yeah, really appreciate it. I had a good time. Surprisingly, all the hipsters, well, most of them enjoyed it. There was a couple <laughs> of really – dude, there was a guy. All right, check this out. We're sitting at the table, and, like, there's bands playing, and this guy off in the corner in the booth, and he's, like, doing this. Like, the, he's playing, like, a fiddle, you know? And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, he must be <laughs> fucked up. And he wasn't playing nothing. He was air fiddling, you know? Well – <laughs> then he fucking, I go outside to have a smoke, and uh, he's out there in the parking lot playing a real fiddle. So I was, my mind was blown, dude. I'm like, I'm that <laughs> blind, or, you know? This dude really has a fucking fiddle now, and I'm like, what is going on? And uh, Brad was telling me I wasn't aware. I guess he tried to come on when we were getting ready to come on or something. And they like did like the old school Hollywood where the hook comes out and just grabs <laughs> you by the neck. Fucking like, no, took his ass out. <laughs> Plot twist, the fiddle was there the whole time. I know, right? <laughs> so insane. But yeah, good time. Uh, shout out to Franklin House and Valparaiso and uh, Fluid Coffee Bar. I had some people out from Devil's Trumpet. Uh, good time. And then the next time we did it all over again in DeKalb, Illinois. I was going to say, where at in DeKalb? Uh, a place called the 7th Street Space. It smells like a toilet, but you know. Did you keep it juicy there? a good there, time. What? Yeah, as much as I could. Montez was keeping me nice and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Montez, was he there? Oh, yeah, he was shoving booze down people's throats while they were playing. <laughs> <laughs> Ratface, who's been on the show, episode five, uh, Derek Ratface Martha. Mr. Ratface. I apologize for you uh, trying to play your ass off on the drums while Montez is shoving <laughs> a half gallon of Skull Vodka down. I wish you had video going right now, because if you would have seen him while he's trying to play, and he's trying to catch the vodka, like... <laughs> it was like literally <laughs> the most ridiculous thing ever. But uh, good times nonetheless. Uh, thanks to Ben and Gonzo, Minimum Wage Assassins, for having the prick out there. And, uh, yeah, that was my weekend, you know. There was a lot of good stuff that went on this weekend, too, that we'll get into. Uh, most uh, notably, New Japan Pro Wrestling and some UFC news as it relates to WWE and <laughs> you know who. 
Before we get into uh, the news of the week, I have a very important question. Mm-hmm. Uh, given the fact that uh, you had played a show on Friday and Saturday, is yes. there going to be less screaming in this episode? Fuck no! No, of course not. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get. You this ready, Ed? Let's do this. I'm ready. Let's do this news. Let's get these nuts a stinking. All right, nuts stinking story number one. What's it say here? Let, let's skip over that one. We don't need that one. The Shinsuke one. Oh no, that's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Shitsuke Nakamura. Shit stain Nakamura. Shit stain Nakamura. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, surprise, guys. Yeah. Uh, Shitstain is coming on the show next week. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait, I just got a text. He canceled. <laughs> yeah, he canceled. <laughs> he said, my name's not Shinstain. Shitstain. He <laughs> said, say my name, say my name. <laughs> say my name. Shinsuke Nakamura to it, return to action. It's not Shinsuke. It's Shinsuke. Shinsuke Nakamura to return to action tomorrow on SmackDown against AJ Styles. The U is silent. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I mean, I'll give you my quick little thought on that. It's how many times now has he faced AJ in WWE? It's a, it's a, a million team. times. Like, I'm I'm bored with it. Yeah, everybody like, is. And, like, Shinsuke is a good wrestler, dude, but he's just... He won the Royal Rumble, and then he went to a feud with AJ Styles where he, he came... AJ came out the champ every time, and he ended up turning heel, which was cool, but it's now kind of... It's kind of wearing... The shtick's kind of wearing out, you know? So, I, I don't know. I just... They're classic WWE misusing the guy. Go back to New Japan, Shinsuke. Make some money, go back. Next! <laughs> What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? All right. I'm really interested about this because we always talk about uh, kayfabe and trying to keep up certain appearances and knowing what's real and what's not. Uh, it's uh, The next story is Jim Ross in a hospital after suffering, suffering a rib injury at New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Special. I watched a little bit of that with you, and it was the uh, – uh, help me. Help me. The, the oh, one that I sat oh. here watched with you. Yeah. No. Um, well, it wasn't during that match, I well, guess. Well, the thing is, during that match – The G1 special in uh, San Francisco. It was Juice Robinson versus Switchblade. Oh, okay. But but the uh, – so we were watching an, uh, an, another match. Who was that? That, um, was, uh, that was the Kenny Omega versus Cody Rhodes right. match. Right. And there were people in the – there were people like on like professional onlookers, the people that are that are keeping an eye out on things. Right. You remember when that gate fell in that dude? Yeah. The gate smashed on that guy's legs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I so mean, what happened to Jim Ross? Um. Well, it says right here, according to a report by John Pollock, uh, by God, good old Jr. was in the emergency room this morning, getting evaluated for a rib injury after the incident at the G1 special, where the ringside barricade crashed into his booth, sending him falling to the ground. Mind you, Jim Ross is old as as dirt. Uh, Ross alluded to the injury last night via a tweet and is said to be in a lot of pain. It says he's also reportedly very upset as he had previously asked New Japan officials to keep the wrestlers away from the announce booth, knowing that they do a lot of fighting in the audience. However, they did a spot right in front of him and the barricades weren't connected, so they immediately tipped over, took him out. Ross added that he will have to cancel three commitments this week as a result of his injury. So we'll see how much longer that relationship lasts now, unfortunately. Well, yeah, that's directly. If he had to cancel three plays three commitments that's that's costing him money directly yeah but if new japan's cool which as far as i know their business dealings are cool they'll they'll take care of them you know yeah for they sure. would they almost would have to i would think but you know how it goes in the world of entertainment and hollywood whether it's movies tv or even fucking pro wrestling there's you know there's politics there's weird shit so for sure get well jr who's next who do you, knows do you, best? Do you care about this story stephanie mcmahon makes list of most influential women mm. in sports i care about steph a little bit what about you eh? I do. Yeah. That she was hot back in the day. Yeah. What do you say, fellas? Nice say to judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's great. All right, next one. Is she an influential person nowadays? Who, in, staff In the company? I would say, yeah, she's definitely going to yeah. run shit when Vince dies. More than she's Shane. The, Triple H is the CEO, or is Vince the COO? And she's like, I don't know, she's something to do with like talent and a bunch of mm-hmm. marketing shit. She's, Steph's great. Good character, too, because people hate her. She she's, can play on that, too, man. She knows how to make people yeah. hate her. She's a Muck Mayan. She's a McMayan. Remember Mr. Muck Mayan, the Mr. Stooges? <laughs> Gerald Briscoe and <laughs> Pat Patterson. <laughs> All right. Are they still alive? Yeah. Yeah. Pat Patterson just, just came out not too long ago. They're old. Out of where? The closet. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. Who's next? Paige opens up about being pie-faced. <laughs> whoa, 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 cut, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> okay, now, we all knew that she had opened up about being pie-faced a long time ago. We've seen the videos with Xavier Woods and uh, who was the other 
dweeb that was in WWE for a hot second. And the videos uh, that she sent to Alberto De Rio. So, you know. But I'm sorry. I just... That line just, you know, she's been pie-faced many times. I don't know what you're referring to, but <laughs> Paige opens up about being pie-faced. And ah, told- there it is again! <laughs> <laughs> All right. and, and told to lose weight by rude WWE fan. <laughs> I'm not a monster! <laughs> I don't really care about that story. All right. This one, I'm interested. The next one. Dolph Ziggler. Have Top. you ever wondered where he got his name from? Because you ever think of like Boogie Nights? It's got to no. be some like Dirk Diggler. It's got to be some kind of play on that. I always thought it was. I'm curious to find out. Isn't there a famous dude with a last name Ziggler that's like uh, something important in history? <laughs> oh, man, I'm an idiot. Dolph Ziggler talks about the origins of his name, working with Drew McIntyre and more. Um, Yeah, uh, here it goes. The origin of his name, Dolph Ziggler, it says he randomly got a call saying, you're going to TV to introduce something we're going in a meeting right now we're letting you know your name is david diggler what do you think about that one in my head he said i've been fired twice this is my last shot i go i hate it this is the reality error and i'm going to be david diggler he's like do i have any say in this they go well you're going to a meet we're going into a meeting right now if you can have something 15 but it's got to be a d first name and a d last name i texted everyone i knew and i tried to think of things he says uh i knew a, knew of a great great grandfather who was rudolph and dolph lundgren wait what's it it says dolph who, lundgren? yeah lundgren who was rudolph and dolph lundgren was from rocky four and i needed a d and i go dolph and then i go is there any way i can do diggler at the end he's like so i Got to Raw, and there was a little piece of paper that said Dolph Ziggler. Uh, they didn't really have long-term plans for me, which was fine. He's like, but I go, man, this might be my last chance. So I go to Vince, and Vince, it's the reality era. We're doing the stuff. You can Google my name. We can mix my name up and switch it a little bit. Uh, Dolph Ziggler sounds like a cartoon wrestler name. And he goes, it's different. People are going to remember it. I love it. Hey, you can hear. I love it. Get the fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> oh, he's just yeah. And he walked off oh, before man. he finished the sentence. I go, all right, I tried. So that's a good story. It is it's very it stressful. Is. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, you're, yeah. And it didn't end with Vince <laughs> saying, "You're fine." Yeah, yeah. He's got a. He's got a pill. You do a good. You can do a good Vinny <laughs> Mac over there, Ed. I appreciate that. Who's next? Takashi hospitalized following the title defense at New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Special. Update on his condition. Oh, yeah. He got fucked up pretty bad. I ha- I still haven't watched that match. Um, I know he retained the junior heavyweight title. Real or fake? Um, no, this is totally real. Neck injury, oh. dude. Oh, shit. Uh, Get well he soon, was fighting uh, Dragon Lee in the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship match. Uh, after the match was immediately taken nearby hospital, he's currently undergoing a thorough evaluation. Uh, I don't know. I guess he was, was pretty beat up. Could have a broken neck. You know, that's serious shit. Could be retired. They also do a bunch of, the, they're a lot more acrobatic than. Yeah. They're, they're real hard, real stiff. Yeah. You know, I the joke around. The risks are real. Yeah. But what's the reward? I don't know. The reward is you get to come on GP Dub and get talked about. Yeah. Or you can be a guest. Yeah. Yep. The door's always open, Takashi. The green door is always open. Takashi. Get well soon. Um, here's one that I just found out. Uh, go ahead, Stratton, with the next one. NWA announces Flip Gordon will challenge for NWA title at Honor for All show on July 20th. Yeah, so I knew uh, there's a video out, the new um, 10 Pounds of Gold series that the NWA and Billy Corgan do, and Dave Lagana. Shout out to those guys. I think they do a great job with these videos on YouTube. Um, but since Cody lost uh, both shots at, at the ROH and the IWGP championship. Uh, I guess they're doing a thing now where it's uh, Nick Aldis, is, who is the current champion, NWA champ. Um, he was supposed to face Cody, and the rules were he wanted to face title versus title. And so Cody's lost that. I don't know what's going on, but I read a headline that said, you know, ramifications that could change the all-in episode or uh, main event for the NWA, NWA title. Um, so I guess now it's going to be Flip Gordon. This might be beforehand. So if Flip Gordon somehow wins, which I don't think he's going to, uh, he could be facing. How how weird would that be, though? Because they've been talking about the book flip story for a good long while now on uh, being the elite, and everybody's wanting this dude to get booked. So how weird would that be if he ended up becoming the NWA champ? But I, I don't see it happening. It's just all storyline stuff. But that, that would, I guess, kind of be cool if he wins it at uh, the ROH Honor for All show on July 20th. We'll how, see where that goes. How often does uh, that promotion do that stuff? We're like, oh, maybe there's a chance they're going to do it. Like, maybe there's a chance he's going to win. For other people, do they occasionally like surprise everybody with stuff like that? Yeah, sometimes. I don't see it happening. How good's the writing is kind of my 
question. I, I think right now with these guys, and like if you watch some of this NWA stuff, like the 10 pounds of gold series, awesome. um, great. Yeah. And like I said, Billy Corgan is producing and writing along with a guy named Dave Lagana, who was old school. Uh, I believe he worked in ECW before WWE Impact. Um, they're doing some really cool stuff. He also did a lot of the early broken uh, Matt Hardy stuff with him and uh, the Hardys and Jeremy Borash. Really good shit and really good cross promo promotional stuff because they're doing videos with Cody, too, and the new All Us channel and Cody's YouTube channel or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's great, man. The writing outside of W. WWE is fantastic, whether it's Ring of Honor or New Japan or Impact now and the NWA. The NWA isn't even really a full, like, on promotion where they have a roster or a TV show. It's totally different in the way they operate. You know, they're, they are unique to that at more than any other promotion, whether it's Lucha or um, New Japan, WWE. They have a couple of guys that they bring in but they're just using other people's platforms and networking you know like yeah, yeah. it's totally different kind of like what we you know want to do here but it's it's really cool and there's good storytelling going on man it's just I do, good i do have to say that since we started the show you know i'm i'm I've do, I've, I've, i'm in i'm in pro wrestling now i'm trying to watch things and the easiest yeah. thing to watch is wwe right mm -hmm. but because that's what you're to, used to, to be, yeah the availability be, of it yes for sure and right. to be honest I have a really hard time with it. Not always. It, the problem is uh, the cheese factor that's always there. Right. But, but that's uh, pro wrestling. There's but the, that here. stuff that used to hook me with wrestling does it hook me? But watching that one match because I was busy. We watched a couple of days ago. You and I sat down and yeah. we watched that G One special, and it was a Kenny Omega match. And mm -hmm. man, I was like, I had to leave. Like we we had a we had lunch together. Mm -hmm. We were watching the match, but I was in. Like I had to take yeah. off, but. All that stuff that I love about pro wrestling, all the the silly shit, the awesome acrobatics, the right. uh, just everything about it, it was there, and yeah. I was like, oh shit, this is why everybody wears Bullet Club shirts. Yeah. And this is why because yep. this yeah. shit's cool. Like yeah. it's it's fun. It it's is fun. fun. You just WWE nailed it, dude. is almost like a it's a chore. It is a chore, and it's just dude, it's it's sad for all the talent they have. I mean, it's good for them because great, these guys get to go and provide for their families, get a hell of paycheck, and actually develop. A uh, what, how would you say a presence, a global presence for their brand? Whether right. they leave there and most of the guys can't be who they were because their names are always trademarked and shit, you know. But uh, it's just it's so business like, man. It's so it's it's like a stale box of Cheerios, man. I, f I feel really bad for those guys like Finn Balor and Eight. I mean, I can't really say AJ because he's on top, you know. But there are a lot of talented dudes that just. Man, I think they're just so WWE is so too big for their own fucking britches, you know? Yep. It's like they when, have all these talents. What they should have did was kept separate promotions. They should have kept WCW NECW, around and ECW, yep. but let those guys <clears throat> run it how they were. Yes, oversee it. So make sure WCW wasn't how it was at the end, you know, but keep that brand around and they should have. And now they're trying to like give you the whole well we're competing with ourselves because we have nxt and whatever bullshit flavor the month they pop out and it's just it's not i don't know the brand split is the perfect example it doesn't feel different there's still smackdown guys showing up on raw and like when so when they do it's not exciting whereas like now in the independent and not even independent because i'd hate to call like roh and new japan and all these like independent promotions um because then in my mind, I think a lot of people's minds that means just a little small bingo hall shit, and that's not what all these not all these guys are. But uh, like how New Japan and NWA and ROH and uh, Impact Wrestling, everybody is working together and trading talents, dude. Like this is an era of professional wrestling we've never seen. So outside of WWE in the bland little uh, Vince McMahon world, it's amazing right now. Just like you said, how you're getting it, dude. You, why people are wearing Bullet Club shirts and shit. Because it's fun again, dude. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. And there's a lot of shit that's over the top, too, you know? The thing is with WWE, for me, it hasn't been very fun in a long time, man. It um, hasn't. The, the last fun... Early for, 2000s, maybe? No, nah, well, <clears throat> no. I, I would say the la for me, and again, th this, is, this is just strictly me speaking, the last fun was the CM Punk era, man. Like, he was one of my favorites of the, like, newer era. Um, I really liked him, the whole pipe bomb and the whole, you know, I mean, what, he was a, he was a champ for, what, two years? 
Yeah. Wasn't I think almost... Brock just passed his record. Did he? Yeah. But he wrestled more than Brock. Oh, absolutely. Dude, he wrestled every month. He, he did. He even wrestled on the uh, on SmackDown and Raw. You know, yeah. and he wrestled. Um, you know the. Uh, uh, the, the traveling ones, you know, the the, un, the untelevised ones, you know. Oh yeah, the live yeah, arena the live shows. And stuff. Yep. Yeah, you know, that's the one thing that I really really liked about them. But it's just it, it, WWE in general has gotten bad. But being able to see some of the other stuff, it's really opened up my eyes to wow, man, it's kind of yeah. WWE's bad, but this other stuff's really yeah. really good, you know. Yeah, but there, it's just a matter of everybody sharing this shit and like realizing the same thing that we all realize, you know, mm-hmm. because. People think of wrestling, and unfortunately, because of that buyout, dude, it's only WWE. Yeah. Like, and that that's starting to change, dude. It's really yeah. getting to a point now. I mean, hell, we have our own, uh, dude, pro wrestling tees in Chicago. Yep. We should all it's go awesome. up there sometime, you know? Like, it's that's ridiculous. That One hour like tees that. Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> that that exists, Colt dude. Cabana. Yeah. He does. It do, Is he part owner? Because I remember. I don't know. Told, Colt, if you're watching separate. this. They're two separate. Listening, Ed. One hour tees and... Uh, and Did pro wrestling tees. Yeah, I think they're two different. Uh, no, no, I no, think no, 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 pro no. wrestling tees is owned yeah. by One Hour One Tees. One Hour Tees is, oh, the, is the website. Yeah. yeah. I, take, I take it back. I'm it's so just sorry. a division. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. No, Colt Cabana, it'd be awesome if you can call up here one time or come join the podcast and give us the 411 on One Hour Tees, Pro Wrestling Tees dot com. Oh, yeah. All that other stuff. And bring a JP Dub. We'll give, we'll give you a JP Dub shirt. Oh, yeah. We'll give it we'll to We'll get one made. Yeah, <laughs> when we got like guys like when we get one made, don't tell them that. <laughs> we have a closet full of them. We yeah. do. No, we don't. <laughs> the warehouse. They're a rarity. Sorry. We, we they're, do, they're rare but they're commodity. just yeah, they're just not made yet. Mm-hmm. I seen one on eBay one time go for a thousand bucks. Yeah, me too. True story. I think it was fifteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll sell to you right now for nineteen ninety five. Who's next? All right, I'm going to read this two ways. Ronda Rousey admits to crying like a baby after her WWE debut on Saturday. A Madison Square Garden <clears throat> debut. Wanda Rousey admits to crying <laughs> like a baby after her WWE Madison <laughs> Square Garden debut on Saturday. Wanda Rousey. Wanda Rousey. Wanda Rousey. Wanda Rousey. <laughs> Wubba, I'm Wubba Face. My name is Harry Wubba Face. Remember Harry? Harry Wubba Face. <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Harry Manos. <laughs> he was a cool cat, though. Yeah, he was. I liked Harry a lot. But he was just wobble face. Um, Any thoughts on that? Nah. No. Nah. She's crying because she's happy. Oh, okay. Is there going to be a crying Rhonda? You know yeah, how there's like there a crying Jordan? I'm just so glad to be here today. You know what, though? I, I, I Let me choke you. I like it. I'm glad she's I'm glad she's wrestling. Yeah, I don't care about her crying, though. Yeah. All right. I'm interested in this story right here. Yes. Carmella on a viral video of Moonwalking DDT. Oh, yeah. She quotes, I can do better, so stay tuned. Uh, oh, man. That was actually a clip of her saying that, too. Really? Yep. I can do better, so stay oh, tuned. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there was this clip I, I seen. It's actually a really good clip. It's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Oh, it's a Michael Jackson. Oh, that was pretty... That was pretty dope. Oh, man. I remember I did that in the gym back in high school to a guy named Ruben. Ruben. <laughs> it was one of the best things I've ever seen in my he, entire hey, life. He was cruising for a bruise. He was. <laughs> and his name was Ruben. You gave a DDT or a moonwalking DDT? It was a DDT. It was just a DDT. Oh, okay. But it was good, though. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was a good form, yeah. everything. Yeah. I even slapped the back. He did. But you want to know what? It was awesome because it was an actual fight. And yeah. it's the only dude I ever met that literally threw somebody a DDT in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I saw his try pro wrestling moves. Yeah. What about the this? I want to bring this one up. Um, Hulk Hogan comments on the NWO anniversary, uh, which you, we did a episode nine on the NWO and their impact Ooh. on the business. You guys can go back in the archives and check that out. Yeah. Play the audio. Well, what here. I'm going to do is uh, this was <laughs> Hulk Hogan on Twitter um, 22 years ago. The biggest run of all time went down. Scott Hall, real Kevin Nash, and I took over the wrestling world because the maniacs jumped out for life. Turn that shit down though, while you're while you're explaining that. I I didn't know I was playing anything. I guess it is playing. <laughs> I, I think it was a pop up ad. I didn't play anything. Uh-oh. It was me. But look at this picture right here. Well, look at this old school picture, dude. Walking in. That's cool. That that's fucking fa 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 live. That's gangster. So in this video, I mean, you guys will be able to hear it, but uh, just give you a brief synopsis of it. Hulk just reminisces and gives love about how people appreciated when he uh, he made that turn, the infamous heel turn, that nobody thought they'd ever see, and uh, he's saying, you know, 
screw all the red and yellow. Maybe uh, Hollywood needs to come back. And uh, he drops a little hints. Something that's probably not going to happen because I would be really racked if it did. Um, but yeah, I just, sorry I wanted to cover that. We got to play that on there though. Many are stuck with me. A couple decades ago, NWO. Woo, the money. <laughs> Took over for the training prayers and the vitamins, brother. Had to make that switch to sweet. Anyway, Big Kev came down to the crowd. Scott Holly came down to the crowd. I felt the energy. I had to go. Old WWE guys riding out of tide. I cannot believe how the fans stuck with me. I mean, it was that time I needed to make that change anyway. Perfect storm. But if you guys have stick with me for 20 plus years and love the Hollywood character so much, the most evil man that ever stepped in the ring was WWE chatter. Get boring. Get boring. But not boring to Hollywood. Ooh. You guys stuck with me for 20 years? The loyalty to the fans made me a bigger star as Hollywood. Maybe I should just come back down through the crowd and take over the whole <laughs> WWE for a couple more decades for life. He's still got it. Yeah, he's I the Hulkster. He'll always have it. That Tony Schiavone. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Schiavone. <laughs> he's got a podcast. What's up, Tony? You better call him Tyrone. Um, you get Stone Cold on here from the Stone Cold Podcast. Hell yeah! Hey, yeah. did you ever see the one where um, where Stone Cold tries the different uh, alcoholic beverages? Yeah, the <laughs> drinks. He's like, what was this, sex on, on the, the beach? beach? <laughs> Shit sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, you better get me something with some damn alcohol in there. He's like, I'll get the hell out of here. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna fucking run. Yeah, he gets pissed. And he gets his own beer, and he's like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. It's a Stone Cold IPA or something. Yeah, like that. that's uh, what is? It? I forgot what it is. You guys can Google that. I've been wanting to get some. We'll have to order some. Yeah, try it out on the show and do maybe do a review. A review of the Stone. How many Stone wrestlers Cold have IPA? their own beer? It's a good question. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I know Stone Cold does. I know that at some point there will be Juice and Thunder Lager. So, everybody look out for that. Juice and Thunder. Juice and Thunder Lager. Shout out to NJPW legend and Lager, one of my favorite types of PS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You Here. ready for the game? Hogan knows best. I'm a little, because I'm a little, I'm looking at all the rest of the stories and they're like, they're lame. Well, no, here's a good one though, just real quick. And I, I won't have to look this up because I know this one. There's this, uh, Taylor Hendricks was a girl, really hot, kind of like, pasty white chick but you know real good looking girl red hair was in impact and then roh with the house of truth and jay lethal and truth martini well i guess just recently she came out and said that uh she didn't advance in the company because she refused sexual advances from and suggestions (laughs) from jay lethal aka black machismo yeah dig it dig it where's the snake uh so i mean that's kind of a big deal going on right now so he's uh he, I guess he just issued a statement denying the allegations made by Taylor Hendricks, but she's all lawyered up, and, you know, that's that's a shit show. I hope it's not true because I, I kind of – I really do dig Jay Lethal's, like, the shit. And if you guys watch Being the Elite, um, he is tapping back into the black machismo persona. But, you know. These stories are always a little rough. Yeah. You always I, hope I, they're I, not true, and then – when you find out they aren't, it's a relief. When you find out they are, they it's just rough to deal with. Mm. Right, for just for everybody. Yeah. So. Well, you know what? Pro wrestling is very much real when it comes to sexual advances. You ready for the game? I'm ready. Time to play the game. <laughs> yeah. Every time we play a game, I get nervous about whether or not the game is good. I have been accused <clears throat> of being sexist. So this game... <laughs> Is all the is all about female pro wrestlers? <laughs> <laughs> Enter applaud. Players going to be chicks. So in the future, we are gonna break down more because I actually want to get into it in the next couple of weeks about yeah. like Glow because a documentary came out with right. Glow season two. On I Netflix. used to watch Glow when I was little uh, with my brother. 
Uh, season two of the show Glow came right. out, so all this Glow stuff is out. There's and a, it's a really cool history. And they paved the way for some other stuff and stuff they're doing now in the whole women's revolution. If you're a WWE nut, um, but outside of that, just real quick, if I can interject this little uh, note for you, there's a promotion called Rise Women of Pro Wrestling out in Chicago, and Impact actually, I think this past weekend, just did a pay per view from there, a one night only women's pay per view. So. You know, you guys go online, search for that, check it out, uh, impactwrestling.com. And uh, once again, going back to the thing with promotions working together to bring in and bring you good talent, you know. I just saw Ray Phoenix on Impact, too, fight Rich Swan, uh, the guy who was just recently released from WWE, and ridiculous stuff. So there you guys go. Let's get this shit out. Let's go. All right. This is the game. This is how you explain it. Ready. I will list. Because I know you guys do know a lot of female wrestlers, but I don't know the extent <laughs> oh, of your knowledge. So, wow, women of wrestling. I am going to list a number of list. female wrestlers. One of those wrestlers is not a real wrestler. Okay. You need to identify the wrong one. How do you do this? We don't have buzzers. We will never get buzzers. I'm so buzzed right you now. buzz in by saying your name. You say Ed or you say Juice. I'm coming for you. Are you Dig ready? It. I'm ready. The first one's a softball. That's cheating over there. Uh, extra points if you can even get close to uh, getting this whole name right. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. And the wrestlers are Mickey James, Natalia Neidhart, Sasha Banks, and Selena Curbs for Days. Oh, hell Juice. yeah. Rodriguez, a.k.a. The Hourglass, a.k.a. Too Sexy, a.k.a. Goddamn girl, a.k.a. formerly known as Richard No Nonsense Rodriguez, a.k.a. Dick Vaney. <laughs> Why did that just uh, make me a little aroused hearing that name? But I'm going to say it's uh, the last one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not feeling good about this game. <laughs> that just made me I feel did real nick- great. I did nicknames and my list. There is just regular proper names. So I guess it'll just be easy. Ready? What Second one. And the names are... Oh, shit. Becky Lynch. Gail Kim. Paige. Trish Stratus. Samantha Shardlegs. And Lita. Ed. D- Samantha Shardlegs. <laughs> <laughs> That is correct. <laughs> very good, very good. Because I'm going off of three different lists, if I repeat lists, my bad. Ready? Mm. Next wrestler. China, rest in peace. We won't even joke around. Laura Dennis, Lou Fisto, and Lala Roughbottom Chinstubble. Joyce. You got it. <laughs> yes, Juice. <laughs> it was like the air coming out of my wet balloon. You know what a wet balloon is? <laughs> Extra <laughs> points if you know what a wet balloon is. <laughs> you guys figure it out. The la- Wait, what was it? Can I get one more time? Sure. <laughs> China, rest in peace. Yep. Laura Dennis, Lou Fisto, and Lala. Nope. And Lala Roughbottom Chin Stubble. Chin Stubble. That is correct. <laughs> I, dude, that's, that was a tough one, Lou Fisto, but I just found out about her. Lou Fisto. Very attractive lady. Yeah, yeah. Open to interpretation. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm not a monster. Ready? This one's going to be a little... This one's going to hurt. Speaking of that, uh, ready? Ruby Riot, Jade, The Fabulous Moolah, Nia Jax, and Brooke Hogan. Hashtag <laughs> juice, juice. Yeah. They are all women wrestlers. Was Brooke Hope? I didn't think Brooke Hogan ever wrestled. She wrestled. His daughter? She was in TNA. God damn it! You gotta give that one to me. Yeah, I will. And negative point Thank for you. me as the <laughs> runner of the show. Yeah. Brooke was on Hogan Knows Best. Yeah. <laughs> that she was. She looked just like Hogan. Ready? Kia Stevens, Beth Phoenix, cheerleader Melissa, and Karen Hill. Juice. Ed. Go ahead, Juice. The first one. That is incorrect. Shit! Kia Stevens, Beth Phoenix, Fuck. cheerleader Melissa, or Karen Hill? Karen Hill. Bam. That is correct. <laughs> Extra yeah. bonus if you know what movie that character is from. Karen! Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, uh, 
Ah, uh, what is yeah. that? She's the wife from Goodfellas that flushed their... Oh, that's right, Karen! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All their cocaine down the toilet. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, no, no, some Ray no, no. Liotta up in this I bitch. I knew that, too. Well, I didn't know it, I know it. I guess you didn't. He has an awkward laugh in that movie. He has an awkward lad in that movie. <laughs> I think he has an awkward laugh in life. <laughs> but you're always welcome, Ray Liotta. We love you. Yeah, yeah. welcome to the He's great. Movie. Always wanted to be a gangster. This one's going to be tough. Because allegedly there are two. They don't shave. Santana Garrett, Ember oh, Moon, Sherry, Sherry Mediocre Blah, Madison Eagles, and Georgette Cheskir Konkretsky. Juice. Ed. Juice. Georgette Konkretsky and uh, what was the third one? Sherry Mediocre Blah. Yeah, yeah. That is correct. <laughs> double yeah, points. Yes, double. Double ya pasha. Double your fun. Double my juice. <laughs> Double my juice. Apparently the score Ooh. is, just like the last couple weeks, Juice has five, Ed has two, and Stefan has negative one. Oh, He's you also know. not playing. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Nikki Bella. Mm. Carmela. Mm-hmm. Mercedes Martinez. Mm-hmm. Christine Tampon Face. <laughs> Ed. Yes, Ed. Christine <laughs> 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 no that is correct. Bam. <laughs> the fourth one. <laughs> it is oh, it's it's so one. funny. You start to develop or understand his <laughs> formula. <laughs> he runs me. I gotta switch it up. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll mix it up. They're always the most ridiculous. Sound. <laughs> Ready? Uh, Stephanie McMahon, Carol Dinner. Carol Dinner Roll Bowling Ball Round Body, Nicole Matthews, and Sienna. Juice. Ed. Go ahead, Juice. Uh, the Butterball Chicken Turkey Bit. Carol Dinner Roll Bowling <laughs> Ball chicken, Round Body? Turkey, yeah. Chicken. That's correct. Bean, green, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, chicken. You day! <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Bam! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I got real hungry whenever I hear that song. Ready? Look! Yeah. <laughs> I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, Alfredo. <laughs> Chicken and blessings. <laughs> Chicken and blessings. <laughs> All right. <go> <laughs> Ready? Io Shirai. Rosemary. Cindy Sex Cabbage. <laughs> Cheers. Rhonda Rousey. Ed. Cheers. Ed? Cindy Sex Cat. Ah, that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> what is a sex cabbage, dude? Let's oh find out. God, that's a great name. Probably right, very ready? tasty cabbage. Vita Scott. Madeline Thunder Country Stevens. Sarah Del Rey. And Madeline Ed. Country. Ed. Thunder Country. That is correct. Bam. <laughs> Madeline Thunder Country <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Thunder Pussy 65. <laughs> the current score is Juice has six, Ed has five, <laughs> Stephen still has negative one. Next one. <laughs> you can tell it's already funny. Sweet Soraya, Alicia Fox, Kimberly, Medusa, or. Borkarina Juice. Borkarina Juice. Let me see the whole name. Go ahead. I'll give it to you. All right. Because you know who it is already. I know. Go ahead. Borkarina Big Dick Clitoris Laser. <laughs> Ed. Uh, juice. Juice already said. We'll give it to Juice. <laughs> Bork Dick Laser. <laughs> that is correct. Bam. Work laser. Work laser. Ready? Did I say Kimberly already? I just yeah. Said yeah she's right. real thing. She's a real thing. Oh, what the hell did I write? There's got to be a lightning round. Just want to let people know who didn't see us go Facebook Live because my How video do... turned out shitty. Uh, we rode a golf cart up here to the uh, green an door. An 80s golf cart. <laughs> Hell yeah. It kicks ass and you don't. All right. The next one, two, three, four, five will be lightning rounds. Yes. They Good. will literally be... Two seconds, like me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
There's only going to be two names. But you have to wait till I say done. Okay. So, as per usual, Ed's really good at this. Yeah. When I say done, just say your name. And then we'll also answer. Ready? All right. Uh, lightning round. First two names. Tan Lines Mick Lawnmower Bag or Candace LeRae. Ed. Done. Tan Lines Ed. Yes, Ed. Tan Lines Mick Lawnmower Bags. That is correct. <laughs> Tan Lines. I thought we got to get the triple figure. That that correct. It'll be a lot faster in post-production. Ready? Oh, yeah. This one is really stupid. Ready? Rest in peace. May Young or Amanda Huggins. Juice. Ed. Done. Amanda Huggins. Ed. Kiss. Yes, Ed. Fuck! Amanda Hugginson. No! 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 I passed this correct. school. It, it is incorrect. Amanda Hug and Kiss. That is correct. Yeah! That You're trying to trick me, Trebek. <laughs> that is erect. <laughs> that is erect. All right, ready? Yes. Is it? Barbara TLC Davidovich, TLC stands for Tender Lovin' Crabs, or Layla L. Juice. Done. Ed. Yes, Ed. Tender Lovin' Crabs. That is correct. <laughs> God damn it. They are tender, though. They're kind of crispy when you crack them. <laughs> On your crotch. The crusty crab. <laughs> ready. <laughs> Remember, if you hear me say done, ready? And the two names are mm. Ivanka Garlic Breath or Carrie Hojo. Done. Ed. 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 You got to go with who said Jeff first. I heard it. it go All right. Here, we'll thumb wrestle for it. I love thumb wrestle. All right. Oh, this is lightning One, round. two, three, four. I declare the NWO cheat. You got to cheat. You got to cheat. By God, they, somehow we brought out steel chairs in a thumb wrestling match. <laughs> Go ahead, Juice. Let's see if Ed remembers the name, though. I did, No, don't do that because I don't remember I don't the remember name. The you got to say it again. Uh, Ka- Kaili yes. Hoyo or, or Iho or Ivanka Garlic Breath. Ivanka hey. Garlic Breath. That is correct. Bam. And for the last one, which I guess these were way funnier in my head. And the names are Angel, Tenth Wonder of the World, Triple Titsky, or <laughs> Melina Perez. Done. Ed. 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 You want to thumb wrestle for it again? No, he Ed. got it. All right, Ed. Ed. Triple Titsky. That is correct. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> were you watching fucking uh, Total Recall or something? Is that what oh, you yeah, 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 no, yeah. I, was, I was trying to do something like something awesome, so I was trying to write a name with like the double That would badge, be awesome. Like a double vagina, but I Ooh. couldn't do one. That, like, Sometimes you can consider the butt a vagina. And. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Crap, be a vagina. Final score is. Ed with eight. Yeah. And. The dynasty has fallen. Yeah! Uh, New champion with yeah. nine points. Yeah! Bring it on! Justin go. Juice! What? I'm changing my name to Justino Herdez. So, Juice, my name is Tony Shivani, and I just want to say, what do you think about this victory that you have? Well, let me tell you something, Tony. It felt real great to fucking win tonight after all the adversity I went through, after the weeks of defeat, the Juice pulled out, and he came out on top real big. I'm proud to be wrecked right now. Well, Juice, did you ever hear about the one time Hulk Hogan said, Hogan knows best? <laughs> <laughs> I threw it at <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got uh, things we're excited about. I know yes. what I'm excited about. Well, what up- upcoming events or things that are going How on? How excited do you get? How excited do I get? Yeah. Um, Real excited. I don't know how to answer that question. Real excited. <laughs> yeah. Super excited. How excited do you get, Juice? I get fucking bombed! Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Me three. <laughs> oh, yes. So, um, go ahead, Sren. Well, I'd like to start with Ed. Ed, got anything you're excited about for the next week or two? Uh, I'm super excited about this N64 Turnamizzle we got oh, going down over at the Green Dizzle. I guess all three of us might talk about the same thing. Ah, I know. I'm yeah, excited yeah, about yeah, it. I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the N64 boy, yeah, wrestling yeah, 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 yeah. tournament. <laughs> 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 Springboard's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited about it. This is uh, it's all is it 16 person, 16 person spot. 16 person. Christine 16 tournament. 
I almost said 16 man, but everyone is welcome. So, yeah. So you're not sexist. Well, you can be the sexist. divas. This is the official episode. But I am the one that wrote Angel, Tenth Wonder of the World, Triple Titsky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Triple <God>. Titsky. <laughs> Hot your kids! Um, yeah, this tournament's going to be the shit, man. Then looking to have a good time. Uh, what, what day are we thinking about? So uh, it's an official day. So Sunday the 22nd. Okay. At the Green Door Bookstore in Hobart, Indiana, two, 220, 220 Main Street. 220 Main. Beautiful, historic downtown Hobart. Downtown Hobart. The lovely Lake George, Hobart, Indiana. Oh, yes. Store closes at 5. It'd be nice if you got there early. Yes. We start the tournament at 5. 5 o'clock, uh, closed door ceremony. Um, you know, so we say about about four thirty. Get in there, register all your other stuff. Get in. Well, there. we went, we're gonna have flyers and stuff up at the green door, like right now, and as of earlier than right now, uh, we can get that out as soon as possible to get people to sign up. Um, and I, I mean, it'll, it'll be a good time. We're we're we gonna have prizes. It'll be a five dollar buy in. Five dollar buy in. Contact us through greendoornetwork at gmail.com, or you can message any one of us on uh, the Juice Pro Wrestling Facebook page yep. or the Green Door Network one. Actually, it's better if you do it on the Juice one. On yeah. the Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on the Facebook. Yeah. Facebook Juice Contact, Pro Wrestling. reserve your spot, um, but you do have to come to the bookstore uh, to sign up. Right. And the day of, if you do not get in the tournament, you are more than welcome to come and hang out and be part of the festivities. We'll be doing a little filming. We might do a couple giveaways during the span of the thing, uh, but it's going to be super right. exciting and it's going to be super fun and it's going to be the first of many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it'd be nice if you could tell people that you're the champion of the first ever once this shit goes global. Yes. It's bragging rights. Yeah. We're going to be we're going to be doing shit on Twitch too. You know, uh, the JP Dub first ever JP Dub Nintendo Vintage Video Game Tournament featuring Nintendo 64, featuring no. WWF No, no Mercy. Mercy. It will also dig, be a round robin, dollar. double elimination tournament. Yes. And uh, that so way... You're so you're saying there's a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> that <Yeah>. is correct. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the hype for now. Yeah. Um, it's going to we'll be have, fucking We'll great. have one more episode online uh, a few days before the tournament if you want other details or just we're just going to talk about how excited we are. But otherwise, just uh, come to the bookstore, yeah. sign up, or contact us through the Juice Pro Wrestling Facebook page. Yep. And... Uh, Let's get it going. Yeah. Any you details you can find in those two locations, it's going to be very, very exciting. Yeah. Pick up a flyer, share it with yep. your friends, and your more friends. importantly, share it on social media. Yeah. Instagram, Juice Pro Wrestling, uh, Twitter, at JP Dub Podcast. You can email me at JP Dub Podcast at gmail.com. Um, what else do I got going on? The, you got the, uh, the Facebook. <laughs> the Facebook. Uh, yeah. Uh, the JP Wu. Juice Pro Wrestling Universe group. Yep. Um, there's going to be information in digital content posted on this all across the board. So whatever you follow, YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher. Yeah, we will have flyers at the Green Door. Um, we'll we'll put flyers. Uh, I'm sure we can put flyers at like Cagney's and some of the local establishments out here too. Yeah. So we'll put flyers there. Uh, feel free to grab one and uh, yeah, stop in the Green Door to get registered. Pay yeah. your five. Pay your five bizzles. Uh, yeah. And like I said, if you guys if I'd like for a decent amount of people to show up. Um, you know, I guess we'll keep it down to whoever we can fit in the store, you know, realistically. But uh, just everybody have a good time and kind of... Well, there's also a couple of other locations. I mean, you could always hang out at Three Monkeys. You could hang Yeah, out yeah and that's yeah, the cool yeah, thing about downtown. Yes. You got Montego Bay or Three Monkeys or Cagney's if you want to kill a couple of minutes. Or even, you know, th- going to Three Monkeys to Art Theater. Which, hey, who knows, maybe one day we'll do a video game tournament on that big screen. The big screen. You hear that? You hear that? Art theater. JP Coming Dub. soon. Yes. To the big screen. To the big screen. But yeah, th- it, this is going to be cool. It'll it'll be cool for a lot of reasons. Um, it also coincides with the Green Doors' one year anniversary of being open. Right. That'll be on Friday. So if you're free the Friday, the twentieth, come on down. We're going to do a huge thing. Freaky uh, Friday. Yeah. Probably going to have some vents, vendors, some yes. giveaways. Yes. Same with Saturday. Might sneak in a little live music, whatever we can get away with. Yes. Within the confines of the bookstore. And then the tournament happens on Sunday. I, for one, will be dressing up. Uh, yeah. Con- I, for two, yeah. will be dressing up. I, for three, will do whatever the hell it is I want to do. But I'll probably be dressing up. <laughs> so yeah, come and tell friends. It's gonna be yeah. a blast. It'll be a blast for wrestling fans and just fans of any form. If you want to come out and be entertained and see old school, relive your childhood, play some Nintendo sixty four. This is just the first 
tournament in game that's in store. You know, I go, we got other plans also, coming at you. For those of you that say, why well, there's never anything to do in Northwest Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. One this of those. is going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun in all ages. It doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah. You know, if you want to, as long as you got five bucks, tell your mommy and daddy, bring five bucks down the green door. But the thing is, what's going to happen is you say that, and then you get these nine-year-old kids that just stomp a mud hole in our ass. Yeah, I don't know about that. that we're, <laughs> see, we're on our home turf. I know. They don't know anything about that N64. You, yeah, the last time they played that was like on a, a pot, raspberry pie or something. So it's <laughs> yeah. not, you know, it's like all the modded shit. You yeah. Know? They'll look at it like they yeah. look at regular telephones. Yeah, right. right. I'm talking about the real deal. The we, know, we know how to use the specials and build up the momentums. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I'm not how to work. Gonna, uh, yeah, yeah. No not, secrets. No go secrets. ahead, Ed. Tell all your secrets. I'm not telling anything. Oh, secrets are your secrets. Last secretions. thing about the tournament. When you sign up, you get to pick your wrestler. So it behooves you to check out the roster, to sign up as soon as possible to get your favorite person. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can. And, if you're not familiar with the roster, just Google Nintendo 64, WWF, No Mercy. We'll have it posted, too. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have that posted. Uh, what else was I going to say about that? But there will be no created characters, unfortunately. I mean, because I would destroy all you guys with Everybody. AJ Styles. Anyway, <laughs> I made a badass AJ Styles. Did you? It looks just like him. And yeah, I've upgraded him. I've, the thing is, I've kept my created characters on that yeah. little cartridge for the past 20 years. I'm surprised you didn't create a JP dub. <laughs> I have done that all the time. I'm like, kind of like the create a character guy, though. You know, just bald dude, throw some fucking a bandana and a goatee. Said, <laughs> That's good hey, to man. go. He said, hey, yo. Also, when you hey, sign yo. up, if we sign up, if you have any AKAs, we would love uh, to have as many as you have so we can give you proper indu- introductions. Because one of the cool things we are going to be doing is every one of the 16 people will get an introduction. Yes. Yes, uh, they'll, that'll be really cool. You know, By Tony Schiavone? If I can figure out what he sounds like. <laughs> yeah, what about Andre? If that is what you want. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. <laughs> Andre, don't give fuck. If, if that is what you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about the Iron Sheik? I don't give a fuck of you. Come on, you come a clutch. <laughs> Who is yeah. this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And so, then when they lose, yeah. they're going to get a, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so everybody, come on now. We're going to have a lot of stuff posted up, and you'll be hearing a lot more on hey, my Juice. social media every day Strat, about it. Savage, hit me with those dates one more time. Sunday the 22nd. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. the first N64 No Mercy 16-man round robin tournament. The first day of pain. At 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Yeah. at Green Door Books, 220 Main Street, Hobart, Indiana. Be there or be square, yeah. Square is a fucking <laughs> box. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seriously, though, guess what happens when we come at you? What? When I'm up. When, when I'm up. When, when I'm up. When I'm up. When, when I'm up. up. When when I'm up. up. No. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, boys boys and and girls, children of all ages, ages. the Green Door Network is proud to introduce to you their podcast tag team champions Champions of the world, world. Big Ed the Assassin, Juice the Christ Almighty, the J.P. Dub. And if you ain't got any time for that, guess what? I got two words for you. Say it, Triple H. Fuck it! You gonna do sex to me?